Hi guys, I'm Maria from Oh My God I Am Gaming and today I have part 3 of Island Paradise and in today's video I'm going to be talking about owning a resort and I'm going to be showing you how to manage your own resort and what kind of features come along with resorts such as all the um, things that you can buy for your resort um, those can be like the hot rocks, uh, they could be the pool water, water pool um, you know buffets food stands etc etc so i think that would be pretty cool and i'll also be telling you how to you know maintain that resort and what you can do to bring up these stars from zero or even one to five um it does take quite a while obviously you have to make sure you get positive feedback from your customers whoever stay at your hotel and yeah that basically is quite enjoyable and fun and um, also I'll be talking about like you can actually get a, a resort for free uh, that's Hobart Resorts uh, for starters and it's actually quite cool because you can get it for free it's like zero pounds uh, for a start way and I think that's three stars so you could obviously make that into a higher star which is actually quite cool so that's what I'm going to be doing today I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm just going to quickly rerun this uh, because it's taking ages to right so i just got this message saying congratulations on the five star resort an investor was so impressed with your business acumen that he gave your sim the deeds to this private island maybe another five star resort in the future so you can see it's quite easy to get a five star you just need to know what you can do to get the stars up so i think i'm really really happy with that so at the moment i don't even know what i'm on let's go back to right to you so I'm gonna show you my result and I have to say it does look beautiful Um, my sims just still sleeping and it's 7 foot yeah at the moment. right okay so this is the uh, front lobby um, I actually purchased this for 200 something Um, yeah this is the lobby okay Wait, sorry my computer is so so slow right okay so this is the buffet area as you can see it does look really nice so um i've been seeing lots of reviews of this hotel of the resort and basically some wanted sushi some wanted breakfast some wanted lunch so what i did was i done all four different so one was one minute one was uh, lunch one was sushi and what was this one sex food type this was vegetarian for people who are obviously vegetarian you have to have a, a wide um quality of food set food type and that was dinner so you, you know you have different styles um so this is basically where people can sit and my sim is about to eat now um now if we go on to here this is a vip area for luxury now you have to make sure you actually uh, lock the doors for vip otherwise anyone will be able to come in so for instance let me just show you set vip door lock and then add existing vip door lock so make sure that nobody who hasn't paid or anything uh, can't even get that so i think that's quite cool and if we go down a page down a not a page down a room all right uh, this is the gym area so obviously um where people can go gym now my gym is af my sim is a very athletic if i just show you the skill he's on level six so um i made sure that there was a gym in the um resort and obviously other people like customers they had reviews that they said i had a good day because um there were gyms in here um so this is the lobby um got a all in inclusive bathroom uh, and stuff and this is the pool um my other sim has let's just go to a um my other sim has a level three scuba diving so that's what she's going to be doing do a recycle and then you can scuba dive okay we'll just do snorkel for now right let's go back to my other sim um these are the luxury um places 
so if you click on there you can get salons body treatments facial massage you can get a tattoo um you have to toggle room service so you make sure it's all on in case someone needs help you can freshen up and packages you can see it's a load of um variety stuff um down here you have the hot rocks fire walk you can actually set the uh temperature so you can either do it cool hot or scorching uh, which is actually quite cool you obviously have hot tubs i've got two and then some other towers which are no we don't want to scan right so that's quite cool and um, we have a slide um we have some drink stuff for people and now let's get on to employees so let's just go into the lobby where are you there you go right okay hello right okay so um just click anywhere on the desk and now you have a variety of uh, options right okay so if you click here you have uh, many options which you can uh, operate the front desk so you can extend the, uh, the stay uh, obviously for the moment one of my students is staying at this hotel for free of charge so if I show you you can see it's zero pounds because obviously he owns it which is actually quite cool I still want to find out whether my sim can uh, stay here permanent if you know let me know in the comment section below because I have no idea at this moment so you can ask the uh, front desk person who's working there, adventure hall, diving spots, so you can do more diving, purchase mosquito spray, which I don't really know why that's there. However, you know, it's there, you know. Um, you can check out to stop there. Um, you can assign resort uniform for front desk worker. So at the moment, I've done mine custom, so I've actually made it for him. Otherwise, you could just do these ones that are just there. And obviously this is what I did, I created the uniform for front desk worker. And you can also hire new employees for front desk. And you can choose within these three people. So at the moment I have, what's his name again? Okay, I've Kerry Buju. So he's the front desk worker. Um, okay, what's next? You can set shifts for front desk. So um, this is already uh, automatic. So this will already be there when you actually click it but if you want to change it off then you can but I think that's well cool right okay now we're going on to resort management now here okay one minute let's uh there we go right so you can obviously improve your resort by blueprint mode build mode and buy mode so I think the best thing is to use a few blueprint modes then buy a lot of stuff for your uh, resort and if you want you can build it as well right and next one is obviously collect resort profit so this is what um profits you've had and i've just collected it and um, you get in the night and then obviously you can collect it as well um you can ev uh, see the resort reviews so let's just click that now you can see how lots of people are giving it all five star ratings so right what's this Right, okay, this was before I even got to this um, resort, so this is a bit bad, but 5 star rating. I cleaned the pool up, okay. <laughs> right, okay, so it's a great job at uh, offering a health option like a buffet now. Okay, so they could not get enough of the sushi buffet. The pool was dirty, even though the mosquitoes refused to swim in it. Oh, okay, so the mos that's what mosquitoes are for, okay. I'll clean the thingy up now. And how about turning up the heat on the hot tub? Okay, I will do that. I sent my kids to the buffet for some peace and quiet and they came right back saying there was nothing to eat. What? I like the hot tub area was never crowded. How is there nothing to eat? There's like, what, four menus there? <laughs> Alright, cool. Anyway, so yeah, you can see it's five star. Some of these are good, some are bad, you know. Right, okay, let's go back to there. And um, we can also see resort finances. So this is basically everything. Um that you've basically bought so that'd be quite cool to see what you've bought and what next you can uh, manage maintenance crew now you can have low quality medium or high quality and i think i'm going to change that to free so it's higher that's all right and let's go back there what else can you do you can assign 
resort uniform for everyone who works for you which is actually quite cool as well and uh, last but not least you can actually set the result uh, pricing so you can do affordable moderate expensive i'm actually going to be doing uh, affordable because obviously you know actually no i should change it to expensive now that i'm a five star um hotel right here okay so that's basically my result and the options that you can do. Um, next I'm going to go into uh, buy mode and show you what you can actually buy for your resort. So just click on here and go to resorts. Right, okay, so this is everything. So you could obviously buy treadmills, which you could buy before. You can buy firewood pit, um, hot tubs, two hot tubs. You can buy a wedding arch. You can even create a wedding um, room for people who want to get married in a resort. Uh, we can have buffets, diving boards, uh, bungalows, uh, waterfalls. You can buy a front desk for bellhopper, a food stand, a waterfall, uh, another waterfall, a food counter, um, a water slide, another water slide, a resort tower, uh, which is these things over here. And what's this? A resort cottage, a resort tower. Lastly, you can buy the pool bar, which is actually quite cool, but you have to lay down it on a wall, as my one of my customers said so. So, we'll do this. Water temperature. Well, okay, so it is hot. What are you talking about, my friend? What about you? What are you? Oh, right, okay, that's why. Okay. There we go. Right, so that's one of my sims. Just, you know, chilling. Uh, what's wrong with Susan? What are you doing? Oh, you lazy bugger. I made you go skydiving. You didn't even go. Oh, right, okay. Oh, you lonely. Right, okay. What's this? Disgusted. All right, okay. Well, you can come to the resort and you can stay there now. Like Jack. Right here, let's go to Jack. Jack, where are you? Alright, okay, we just do your sim. So you're still chilling, you know. Um, You want to do sky... You can't seem to join the hot tub. Allow that. Right, okay, you want to train someone. I'll let Susan come here. You can train her. Um, we done before, we done f working three hours straight. Jack was alright, you know. Swim in the ocean. You want to swim in the ocean, Jack? Come on then Jack, let's let you swim in the ocean. Swim, there you go. You can go after you've done that and where's Susan? Hello Susan. Alright, let's go over down the page. Down. One more down I think. Yeah. Right, Susan, where are you? Right, okay, let's check in. Oh no, we don't know, do we? Let's do a friendly introduction first of all. Oh, we'll check in afterwards anyway. Right. Friendly introduction, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I like to move it, move it. She likes to move it, move it. <laughs> right, okay, Susan, you need to go to the hot tub because you're feeling lonely so let's go to Jack invite to join no nope, don't invite to join conversation go to him um, um, um friendly and uh, shakabra I love that that's the new uh, saying for them it's like shakabra obviously I can't do it probably but yeah um yep you go as well I love how he's on level 6, it's just amazing. Right, let's check the pool out. Because apparently it's dirty when it's not. Because look, I've chlorinated it, so what are people saying? I don't know what people are saying. Right, okay, talk to Jack, and Jack, you can train her. So, hope you guys like this video. If you want me to do more videos of like the results or more of your sims, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll definitely do it for you guys. So yeah, once again, for you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys all later. Say bye to the gold family.